Hi, I'm Radu Bakrao, Embedded Applications Engineer with the Altera Technical Services. Today, I will demonstrate how to use the Lotterbach tools to debug and trace a simple bare metal program running on the Cyclone 5 SoC development kit. This is what you will need. Host PC, SoC development kit, Lotterbach hardware and Lotterbach software. To get started, refer to the first link displayed on the screen for software installation and board and Lotterbach hardware setup instructions. Next, download the sample applications and scripts archive from the second link and unzip it on a convenient location on your hard drive. Here is the setup that was used for this demonstration. Start the Trace32 software by going to Start menu, All Programs, Trace32 and click on the ARM USB option. Go to File. Edit batch file and select trace unhosted example. Go to the line where the serial COM port is specified and replace COMX with the COM port number in your system. Save and close the file. You only need to do this once. Go to file, run batch file and select the trace unhosted example. This will run the script which will reset the board, start the serial communication terminal, run the preloader and we can see the preloader messages here, then load the sample bare metal application, set up tracing and run the bare metal application up to the main function. The window on the left side shows the code and you can switch the mode between C and C intermixed with assembly. The window on the right display the program trace starting with the first instruction from the C runtime startup and ending to the last instruction in the trace which is a branch to the main function. We also have the usual debugging features. For example, we can view the ARM platform registers and we can also edit them. For example, let's change our 0 to 1 press enter. Let's change it back to zero. To close the window we can also see the HPS platform registers. For example let's look at the GPIO registers. Uh, GPIO bank zero. The same thing. We can edit them and inspect them if we wanted to. Another feature is for example stepping through the code and let's click the step button that executed just this uh, assembly instruction push we can also see it in the trace window being updated let's switch back to C mode and put a breakpoint on return by double clicking the line this red rectangles here mean, means there's a breakpoint now let's run the code we will see the hello world message being displayed on the serial console and we will also see that the um, trace window was updated with the execution we see it was the branch to the hello world uh, printf and then the last instruction is the last instruction in the main this concludes our demonstration i'm radu bakrao and on behalf of altera thank you for watching